Hello, my name is Joral Farley and welcome to 5-Minute Tutorials, where you will be able to find out about a multitude of topics on a Mac and learn about them in under 5 minutes. Today's lesson is going to be on how to use Final Cut Pro and the zooming feature that comes right built in. So the first thing you want to do is to start up a new project, zooming in in Final Cut Pro. And with that you can do zooming in like I'm doing right now. Now this is quite simple to do. First of all, as usual, drag in your footage and then once you're done with that, you can start cutting. A fast way to cut is to use the B key on your keyboard, which is the cut or blade option. And you basically want to cut where you want your zoom in to begin. And then you want to cut where you want your zoom in to jump out. So in my case, I'm going to take the zoom in right there and I'm going to stop it right there. And then I'm going to press A to go back to the select key. Now what I can do is I can go and click on this button here and go into the button that says crop. Then where it says crop, I will select my clip, move this over it, and then I can choose from a multitude of options in cropping. The option that I would like to use is a Ken's Burns effect. So the green line where you have this dragging box is where you want it to start. Drag it where you would like it to start and then the red box is for when the Ken Burns effect ends. And I would like it to end somewhere around there. Now when I press done, you'll notice that I will have a sort of an animation in a Ken Burns style that zooms out. It'll be very low quality at first, but that's because it hasn't rendered, as you can see on this 0% bar right here. And that's basically it for creating a good zoom in or zoom out effect. If you would like to simply jump to a cut, you can follow the same procedure with the blade in and out like that. And then instead of going into the crop option and then selecting Ken's Burns, simply go into crop. And in this view, you can drag the frame out more or drag it in more in order to reposition. And like that, you can get a jump cut to a different position as shown right here. And then when you're done with that clip, it automatically jumps back out as well and that's just a basic crop trick which allows you to make it look like you had a second camera or like you had a zoom in and that is basically how you zoom in and out or do a jump cut to a zoomed view thank you for listening and looking at this tutorial and I hope that you check out the other ones on my channel thank you very much this has been 5 minute tutorials with Joral Farley and I hope you enjoy good day <laughs>